Hey, beautiful people, and welcome to A Classy Situation. My name is Valencia, and if you already are a subscriber, then you know that we discuss faith, fashion, and self-care. If you are not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the Classy family. I know it's been a while, you guys. Life has been lifing. I'm not even going to feed you with the excuses, but just know that life has been good. It has had its share of ups and downs. But most of all, the month of October has shown me, uh, has given me rather a, a full and fulfilled life. So I'm so thankful. It's the month of November. It's fall, my favorite season of the year. And I'm just so excited to be back and to spend this time with you guys. Today is going to be a little different. I'm going to be doing a review on a fragrance that I recently purchased. For those of you who are getting prepared for Christmas and you may be looking for gift ideas, stay tuned to this video. So the fragrance that I'm going to be reviewing is the I Want Chew by Jimmy Choo Fragrance. So recently I was spraying my fragrance and I noticed that I was running out and y'all, I never keep one bottle. I have several bottles of different types of fragrances because I'm just not a signature girl. I like trying different fragrances. Um, Sometimes I'll repeat, but I'm always going to have options. I don't want to smell the same way every day. Anywho, I went to spray my fragrance on the other day and I noticed that it had gotten down to the bottom of the barrel. And I was like, oh no, honey, this cannot happen. So I tried another one and it seemed like all of them were getting low. <clears throat> and I decided to go shopping for a fragrance. It has been a minute, I would say since I've gone fragrance shopping. Um, and what I like to do, I'll go online to see what's out there. I'll read the notes. And a lot of times I can tell what I like by the notes. I'm a woody, floral, or, or oriental floral, musk type of girl. So I tend to be drawn to those stronger scents or more mature scents or what people consider a nighttime scent or a... Um, a winter or fall scent um i tend to be drawn to I, I really don't like fruity floral and and yeah it has to have some type of wood wood base vanilla base musk base something um of that nature but anyway i don't always blind buy even when i read the notes online i don't always blind buy i like to go into the store i love the experience of sniffing fragrances and so that's what i did i went in and i sniffed a few um i let the um, the young lady who helped me, I let her know what what type of fragrances I liked. And she didn't really lead me to the ones that I, I, I Sometimes even describing it, everyone thinks of those notes differently. Anyway, she did give me a few that I did like. And that was the I Want You by Jimmy Choo. There was one by Valentino. I can't think of the, the name of it, but it was like a pink colored uh, liquid in a bottle. And then there was one by Marc Jacobs that they let me smell. And I normally don't like Marc Jacobs because most of the Marc Jacobs fragrances that I've smelled are floral. And I'm not a big floral girl. But I did like, and this is my third Jimmy Choo fragrance. Let me just put it, let me just say that. This is my third. I've had Jimmy by Jimmy Choo, I believe, or, or it's either called Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo. One of those. And then I've had Fever by Jimmy Choo, which I love. And now I have the I Want You. So we're just going to get into it. This is an unboxing. So you're going to see how it is packaged. Of course, packaging does play a big part in marketing. So here we go. Here is the box. And it's beautiful. And I also think it's very appropriate for the season that we're in. Even though we haven't even made it to Thanksgiving. Um, Y'all know how we do, honey. We put the Christmas decorations out and the Christmas uh, ornaments out before we even start talking about Thanksgiving. So I think this is very Christmas appropriate. The box is beautiful. It has the JC for Jimmy Choo. And then I'm going to take this top off so you can see what came inside. I got the 3.3 fluid ounce lotion. I have the, I believe the lotion, the perfume is also 3.3. Let me read the packaging. Yes. Yes. So the spray is also 3.3. Um, I love the bottle. I, I love the bottle. The bottle is gorgeous. It also has the Jimmy Choo uh, signature on it, the JC. And then there is like a little, um, I haven't taken this out. I guess you could say like a little, 
a card holder and it has Jimmy Choo perfume or parfums written on the bottom. And then you have the spray that you can keep in your purse. It is a 0 0.25 fluid ounce. So I'm going to go ahead and take the bottle out because I will be reviewing it. You will see me looking down at my notes because I do want to describe the fragrance based on the website's description but i also want to describe the fragrance in my words okay for those of you who know me then you will understand why so let me just say this fragrance is a 10 out of 10 recommend when i was making my decisions i smelled probably 10 to 12 fragrances because you know how they do you at the perfume counter honey they're gonna throw you about 10 12 15 fragrances um but i was stuck between the valentino and this jimmy Choo. okay so again here's the bottle and the top doesn't come off for those of us who don't pay attention and we go to the tester and we just automatically pull this off there is no top the spray comes right out of that nozzle there as you can see and it's a pretty and i've worn it so there's that um but anyway it's described as a floral oriental infused with velvet peach and vanilla that gives way to a floral inflection of jasmine and red spider lily not familiar familiar with the red spider lily um it says that the <clears throat> i want you woman is a decision maker with a feel-good spirit who is here to have fun the modern and glamorous woman i felt that last part baby because one thing about me i am a decision maker with a feel-good spirit period i felt that now this whole red spider lily ha I, I can't relate don't don't have a clue now as you can tell as i described it i said the word floral many times even though i'm not a floral girl like i mentioned earlier if it is going to be a floral, it needs some type of vanilla base or musk or woody base, okay? So, if I had to describe this fragrance, again, this is a very mature scent. This is a mature scent. I am well aware that this is a mature scent because a lot of times when people find out my age and the type of fragrances that I like, they're like, oh, that's very mature. It is. It is. And it smells good. It does. And let me tell you, I let this sit on my skin for a while. So, because I, I can't go based on the paper strips that they give me. When it first hit my skin, I wasn't the biggest fan. But I'm not the biggest fan of fragrance when it hits the skin initially anyway. Because it's very strong. I need, I need the dry down. I need to know what the dry down smells like. Because the dry down is what everyone is going to smell when I'm walking by. Okay, I don't want it to be so strong and potent that it's burning people's nose. However, I do like a fragrance that lingers. Okay, you will remember me. Okay, so yes, I was not a fan of the initial spray. Um, it was okay. I would have given the initial spray maybe a seven and a half out of 10. But after a while, after it dried down, 10 out of 10 recommend. I do not buy a fragrance if it's not a 10. It, it can't be a nine and a half. It can't be a nine. It has to be a 10 out of 10 recommend honey and when this dried down on my skin and it stayed there for a while because i kind of walked around like i have to walk around i have to then after i purchased it i came home i sprayed it on the back of my hand and then after walking around because i will return a fragrance i will I, I will return if i spray it and i don't smell it and i know people say well you shouldn't smell it no baby I can tell when a fragrance, and this is why I don't wear like the, this is why I don't wear like body sprays or I, I think it's pronounced toilet sprays. I don't wear those because it's a waste of my money. Um, unless I'm spraying it around the house. Like, of course, I'm not going to spray my good perfume while I'm at home, but I like to smell like something while I'm, at, while I'm at home. So I may use like a body spray or toilet spray around the house. But honey, what I'm not going to do is pay hundreds of dollars for a fragrance and you can't smell it. I'm not, I'm not doing that. So I came home and I've only had to return a fragrance once and I loved it. But I, for me to have to spray it four or five times a day, I don't want to be spraying myself all day long. Came home, sprayed it, walked around for a while. I washed my hands several times. Now I sprayed it on the back of my hand. I went to wash my hands. I had washed them maybe two or three times. I could still smell this fragrance on my on my skin i would just get a whiff like if i would do something i would just get a whiff and i said yep i'm keeping it 
I could not wait to take a shower the next day to get ready to go somewhere just so I could put this on. That's how good it smells. It, it, it's a very, it's a clean, fresh, yet seductive. And y'all know me, I go for the seductive scents. I do. And I ain't trying to lead nobody to sin, but I like the more seductive scents. Um, but it's like a clean, fresh. I don't really smell the vanilla. I mean, I guess, I guess you can say, yeah, I, I do smell it. Whew. Y'all, it smells so good. It smells, and I have some on now. It smells so good. Um, the dry down is amazing. But anyway, um, yeah, so the, I smell the vanilla. It's a clean, fresh scent. I don't smell the jasmine. I don't smell that. I do, however, smell, I do smell a woodiness. There is a woodiness to this fragrance. And excuse me if my lazy eye keep kicking in, honey, because the camera is over here, but I'm looking at myself. So one eye looking at the camera and one eye looking at y'all. But, um... <laughs> It smells so good. Like, okay, vanilla. Let me be serious. Vanilla, woody, date night. Seductive, like I said. The seasoned, mature woman. Ha yeah, I can see it. Glamorous woman who likes to have fun. Where is she going? We're trying to follow her. That that's what I get from this fragrance. That's that's what I get. Now I recommend you can take my word. You can you can take my word for it. I recommend you going to your local uh perfume store or department store and smelling it for yourself. But do not go based on how the bottle smells, cause I and then of course it's gonna smell different on you than it it smells on me. Um, but spray it, let it sit for a moment on your skin and determine whether or not it's a good fit for you. I just, y'all, this is a type of fragrance and all the fragrances. I think I've only made one decision with the fragrance that I probably wouldn't buy it again. Um, but this, this right here. This is, I would buy this again. I would. And and like I said, I said date night, but I'm an everyday fragrance wearer. I, every day I have on something. I don't care if I'm in the house. I don't care if I'm going out of the house. I have to have on something. I love smelling good. I love being clean first. Soap and water. And I like being moisturized second because I don't want to be ashy. And, and then I like smelling good. So again, this is the size and I'm going to put my hand next to it so you can kind of gauge the size. Very nice size bottle. I will also put a link down in the description box so you can purchase it for yourself. Uh, I, again, I recommend. To be honest with you too, and I know some of you may not agree, but this is unisex to me. This fragrance is, and to be honest, most of the fragrances that I like are unis. They could be unisex. I mean, this isn't listed as a unisex fragrance, but it could. Like, I if I smell this on a man, I would be like, oh my god, mm -hmm. I could smell this on a man. But it's it's just y'all go get this, go get this. And if you don't get it for you, get it as a Christmas gift for someone else. Take my words. Y'all, take my word. Now, the Valentino, it did smell good. Again, I can't remember the name of that bottle. It was like a a cube side, a cube shaped bottle, and the liquid on the inside was pink, and it just said Valentino on the outside. That smells good. I may go back and get it since several of my bottles um, are running out, but I was trying to use wisdom, y'all. I'm trying to be a good steward. But this. Now, let me tell you about the lotion. Y'all, normally I am not the biggest fan of lotions that come with perfumes because the lotions don't always smell the same. And I don't know if it's the plastic. 
container that they come in sometimes that lotion be a little off it, it smells weird to me sometimes it smells like it has either sat on a shelf for a long time or it smells like old lady like it smells like old lady however i did put the lotion on today after i took a shower the lotion smells slightly different slightly slightly different but it doesn't smell bad at all it smells very good um even before i put the perfume on the lotion was lingering like it was a very modest but i'm here type of fragrance so i i think even wearing the lotion alone uh, would be fine so i i still give that lotion a 10 out of 10 a lot of times for lotions i'm giving them a 7 or 8 out of 10 i give the lotion a 10 out of 10 um and then i'm gonna um uh, i'm gonna show you the the small spray so here's the small spray right it's perfect for your purse it's perfect for travel um you just never know and it has the the normal you know spray nozzle here um and let's see because i haven't sniffed yeah it's, it smells like the perfume because I'm telling y'all, I don't know what it is with the difference in the packaging, but sometimes things don't smell the same. And then here is a little card holder that I couldn't show you that good earlier because I was holding up the... Uh, I was holding up the box. But here is a little thing. And you know what's funny? I wouldn't normally be drawn to something like this because it's all glittery and stuff. But I've actually been looking for a red card case uh, money holder type of situation because I have two red coach purses and I need, I, I would like a, something red to hold my cards and my money. And so this is what I'm going to use. Um, inside, there is a little note that reads possibility of losing glitter from the, from the spray purse. So there is a possibility, I'm shaking it. I don't see anything falling from it. But again, it says possibility, because reading is fundamental. Possibility of losing glitter from the spray purse. So just keep that in mind. Also, if you notice, I did get the gift set. I rarely buy a fragrance, just the bottle. Like, I feel like if I'm going to be paying that money, I need something with it. Give me a, give me something. Get, I need a lotion, a, 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 a per, a purse spray a, a backpack a, a, a handbag a cosmetic bag something so i tend to be drawn more i feel like i get more bang for my book when i purchase um fragrance so yes i recommend getting the gift set to me it gives you more bang for your book but if you want don't want to spend that money on the gift set then just try the spray and also always feel free to go up to a fragrance counter and just ask for samples ask for samples of the i want you jimmy Choo. ask for samples of the valentino fragrance ask for samples of any fragrance that you may be interested in but you're not sure about um and just go home test that fragrance out on your hand let some hours go by wash your hand you know just kind of see how it sits on the skin see if it has good chemistry with your body chemistry well thank you so much for staying tuned i appreciate you Feel free to comment below. Again, if you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, and join the Classy family. We would love to have you. For those of you who have been sticking with me and being patient with me, you know that I appreciate you, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.